is Local 3 News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News in HD. I'm Cynthia Thompson. We are on location tonight at Tadix Econo Foods in Marquette. It's part of Caring for the Copper Country. There have been some major developments today, just today, in regard to the Houghton area flood. Let's go through some of those. Number one, Gogebic County has been added to the list of counties included in the disaster declaration. Here's something that's also very important. Beaches in the Houghton, Barriga, and Ontonagon County areas are closed. Health officials say high levels of E. coli and fecal coliform bacteria have been found. Now, we do have some good news to tell you about tonight. Number one, M26 is now open, but many other roads are still being repaired, and some, as you know, are going to have to be completely rebuilt. U.S. 41 is now open between Chassel and Houghton, but you do need to be aware that in uh, some areas that road is only in a one-lane situation. M203 remains closed at Swedetown Creek. That's where a culvert washed out. That area is open to local traffic. That's M203 is open to local traffic. For more information on this on these particular things, uh, you can always go to our website, upmatters.com, and you can follow us on Facebook. Now, we're in Marquette today for the second day of this collection drive. This collection drive is called Caring for the Copper Country. It was the brainchild of Radio Results Network. Local 3 said, you know what? We're in on that, too. We want to do anything that we can to help out, and it has been absolutely amazing today, an overwhelming show of support. Today, the radio station group and Local 3, while well, we're staffing here this collection of items that will help out the people in the Copper Country. Of course, we're here at Toddick's Econo Foods in Marquette. There was a four-hour effort yesterday in Escanaba at Elmer's County Market. It was a huge success. It brought in a wide range of items needed for cleanup. Those included gloves, cleaning supplies, shovels, towels, and a lot more. Essentials are also being collected. That includes bottled water, food, toiletries and hygiene products. Something that we also think is probably important in all of this cleanup and, and recovery effort is bug spray and sunscreen. Fans, fans are also important in this for drying out wet basements and also for keeping some volunteers cool when they're helping people do whatever needs to be done in the Houghton County area. Of course, donations of those items and many, many more are coming in yesterday and again today uh, to caring for the Copper Country. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay has more about the willingness of people to help out. We donated canned foods, uh, water bottles, all that stuff. As the supplies piles up at Toddix Econo Foods, people say they're happy to help out the people affected by the floods in the Copper Country. I think it's great to help the community out. Um, I'm originally a Uper. I'm from Escanaba. Now we live in Marquette, so I think we got to stay all together as Upers and help each other. The Lampinins were just some of the people who shopped at Econo Foods and then dropped it off outside at the Care for the Copper Country donation drive. We have a semi coming today that's going to pick up all the items that are donated. We've already had a lot of generous people dropping off anything from toys to water, cleaning supplies. The store says if you miss the donation to still drop off items at the store and they'll find a way to bring it to the Houghton area. Both Local 3 and the Radio Results Network have spent the past couple of days trying to reach out to people on the importance of donating. So it's a, it's a huge opportunity for us to help out, uh, help out the, the people up in Culture. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're out here, um, as you mentioned, at Toddix. And even though we're telling people the importance of donating items, it seems as if youpers already know what it means to help out a neighbor in need. It's just good to help everybody out. If they can't have access to things, then why can't we just bring it to them? Keeping it local in Marquette, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News. Thanks, Rebecca.